Hey guys, welcome to 2022. Let's talk about some goals. So just thinking back on 2021 and uh, basically how that year went and, and what it was like and the different things that came about, it sort of made me uh, readjust my own goals and to come up with a, a set of things that I think I'd, I'd like to complete in 2022. Now with that coming about, there is a, a fair bit of change to uh, the, the sort of things that I'll be doing, which is I think exciting for me and just thinking about it, honestly, it, it makes me excited to actually go and do those things. I mentioned in my Discord server the, the five main points of things that I would like to do. Now, just reading off that list, I had uh, aim to get as close to 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I mean, that would be kind of cool, but uh, probably pretty unrealistic, but I mean, might as well aim for the stars, right? To complete 30 or more live streams. Now, that's actually an achievable goal, uh, which is kind of fun. I, I literally just have to be able to get in two live streams pretty much every month uh, to be able to complete that goal. So that's that's perfectly achievable. Goal number three, this one's a doozy, move country. As I mentioned on my sub channel, uh, I, I have some plans to move country and open a cafe. If you want to check out that video, uh, feel free. It's, it's a long video where I uh, just talk shit for a very long time. So if that interests you, go and check it out. I'll put it in the description below. Goal number four, quit my day-to-day -day job. Again, that's a, um, that's a pretty big goal. And uh, I've been wanting to achieve that goal for a very, very long time. The reason for that is, is not that I've sort of fallen out of love with the work that I do. It's just that I, I have bigger goals that sort of come off the back of that one. And I find that working for myself is, is just a, a better situation for me, both mentally and the sort of challenges that I get to overcome. Goal number five is to finish my lab series on YouTube. And again, that's a, a huge ask, but I think it's, it's something perfectly achievable. Now with each of these goals, you, you can probably tell that they sort of fit in with the uh, YouTube slash work from anywhere slash internet is your workplace type situation. And that's exactly right. That's exactly what it is. The reason for this sort of shift is that I want to be able to work in the other country that I moved to doing the things that I actually enjoy doing, which sort of brings me to why I've created a sub channel and why I'm going to be making more videos there. If I rewind way back to the beginning, the DC CyberSec channel was uh, an absolute love project. It was a huge hobby. In the time of you know three-ish years, I think that I've had that YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, I've pretty much covered every topic I ever really wanted to talk about or can talk about on YouTube without getting myself banned. The only stuff missing from there is to continue doing live streams, which I do enjoy, and to complete that lab series, which is why they're the two major goals for this YouTube channel in 2022, and potentially onwards from there. Now, before you click that unsubscribe button and go, this guy's dead, I, I don't wanna watch it anymore, it's, it's gonna be boring from here on out, you're wrong, it's gonna be fun. My, my sort of thought process around this though is that I want to do stuff that actually makes me happy. And I guess my, my goals have changed over the past few years as I get older. And as you know that happens, being able to do something different that aligns with my new goals that keeps me happy is, is something that I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to. Now, I, I thought about it for the last few days, maybe a week now, what I should do to, to achieve these goals and, and how I should go about it. Should I just keep making all of my videos on the DC CyberSec channel or should I split it out to DC CyberSec is just about cybersecurity and tech and you know all that good stuff that you come here for and to, to then have everything else like the daily vlogs, my, my daily life, random thoughts, food, fashion, whatever other shit that I feel like talking about on the After Dark channel. And the, the conclusion I came up with was that I should split it out because if I was to make videos, all of my videos on DC CyberSec, it would just be a mass unsubscribe of people coming looking for cybersecurity content 
and realizing that there's a mix of, you know, kind of everything. And I, I don't really want to lose all of the hard work that I've put into this channel. So in, in the end, I was like, you know, it, it is actually better to split it out and have my After Dark channel. The only videos I've uploaded there at the moment are me essentially drinking alcohol, which is um, irresponsible and, and silly. But to be honest, that's a, it's a more real version of me. So if you do come here for the personality, After Dark is probably a good channel for you to go and check out. If you come here for the cybersecurity content though, then stick around because there's a lot more content coming on this channel. Now, as, as goals sort of work their way out and you, you, when I start and set a particular set of goals, uh, usually I have a, an idea of what I think is my goals. And then as time progresses through, those goals change into something else. And that's, I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's sort of what it's, that's life basically. So, you know, th different things will influence your decisions and, and different changes will have to be made to attune to those goals and, and maybe have to switch and choose through them all. But I think keeping in line with your own, I guess, interests or things that will make you happy is of the utmost importance, which is why I'm making this split decision to to take the after dark channel is potentially a busier channel than the cybersecurity one i don't know yet I, i'm not too sure how it's all going to pan out but i hope to see you guys over there for the people who are interested in that sort of content and for everyone else who just wants the cybersecurity content stick around it's going to be fun and we've got plenty of good stuff coming up that lab series i've planned it all out i've got it all ready to go there's a, a lot of content that needs to go in there I just need the time to be able to sit down and actually make those videos and having a full-time job uh, working on three businesses at the same time plus YouTube live streams plus actually living my life it's pretty tricky but what I'd like to see from you guys in the comments section is what are your three to five goals for 2022 I, I'd really be interested to see what you guys want to achieve is it you know certificates is it to gain your first job to maybe to, to do something completely different. Maybe cybersecurity isn't something that you're that interested in or you want to take some stepping stones towards it. What are, what are your goals? I'd love to see it. I'd love to get some feedback on what you guys are trying to achieve. And by having these sort of conversations with each other, it makes your goal or dream a little bit closer to actual reality. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you on the DC After Dark channel. I'm about to make a video for that one in a second. For anyone who's interested in the cybersecurity stuff, as I said, stick around here. There's lab series coming out. There's YouTube live streams on answering questions, some news, war stories, all of that fun stuff that I've put into the cybersecurity show. And yeah, just keep it real guys. I'll see you around.